I'm born on the island, and they say that islanders have salt water in our veins. So we're, we're a breed amongst ourselves, you know. Galveston, uh, Galveston is an island off the coast of Texas. You know, we're set aside from the rest of the world. Yeah, I'm a BOI. I got one of the biggest BOIs around, you know. Um, it means exactly that, born on the island, you know. I'm Leon Phillips II, born and raised in Galveston, Texas in 19. My name is Jonathan Henry. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Galveston, Texas. I attend Ball High School. I'm a freshman. I just love my family. I just love being around people. Jonathan came into the world with the uh, disagreement from his physician as to us uh, allowing him to be born. He came in at 22 weeks and uh, he was going to have various problems. They said he was going to have brain bleeds, his lungs weren't developed, uh, he would possibly have heart problems and eyesight. Babies of his caliber just didn't fare well. Doctor wanted me to terminate his life. How can I describe my dad? He's just like me. He's just like me, like a blast in the glass. He's the happiest, fun-filled person until you irk him, and then he's like, <sighs> How would you describe me? <laughs> we don't have enough time to describe you. Okay, here we are. Um, this is uh, Seeley Street. <clears throat> All the streets, uh, I realized when I became a teenager when I was, you know, able to get around on the island without getting lost, that uh, the streets coming from the port up to the seawall are alphabetical. So we're on Avenue I, and they named it Seeley Street. So it's Avenue I, like I told you, Avenue J is Broadway. Back in the 80s when the hurricanes came, you could tell the difference in the, in the environment now. Because yeah. back in the 80s, you may have got like four five foot of water. We, we can walk after the storm, we can walk out. Uh, it was very scary. Um, we, we actually, like I said, the winds and the rain, the winds and the rain picked up at around 7.30, 7, 7.30. And we were, just, we were just sitting on the porch, you know. The sun was shining. And we were just sitting on the porch long enough until it was unbearable to sit there. When you start thinking about sea levels, I think of it this way. Like I said, in 1967, you probably had two and a half, maybe, maybe two blocks of, of sand before you would get to the, the Gulf of Mexico. Um, there was enough where cars could park head to head and traffic could go up and down on each side, and you still would have half a block before you would get to the water. Now, I would say a half a block out, and you're in the water. There is nothing we can do about what's happening with water. It's, it's like you, you fill a glass to the brim with water, and you take a one millimeter pearl and drop it in it. With all the things that we have, such as electronics and, and as much energy as we use up every day, and you think about um, like the coal and the fuel and just everything in general, like you hear scientists talk about like uh, global warming is gonna happen and stuff like that. And 
You don't believe it at first until you actually see something of it. And I'm just worried for my generation coming up because we only have God knows how much time left on here. Like you said, you know, climate change, when I was younger, I didn't really pay attention to climate change. But after the hurricane, it definitely, I was kind of like, you know, this could happen at any moment. We have to take care of this this country. I said this country. We Forget this country. We need to take care of this world, you know, because clearly, you know, with the crazy thing that's been happening recently, you know, all these hurricanes, earthquakes, everything, we need to take care, better care of our our earth, you know.